there are various types of ovarian cancers and depending upon the type of cell from where the ovarian cancer is originating they are termed as uh, epithelial cancers stromal cell cancers and germ cell tumors initially there may not be any symptoms at all but yes patients can complain of uh, distension of abdomen bloating indigestion dyspepsia there can be loss of weight history of loss of appetite altered bladder or bowel movement so these are the symptoms majority of the times fibroids are not related to ovarian cancers and ovarian cysts at times you know like if there's a history of endometriosis these patients are at risk of getting ovarian cancers also not all the patients but yes endometriosis is one of the risk factors if you have a strong history of ovarian cancer or if you have inherited the mutated genes like BRCA1 and BRCA2 obesity advancing age early menarche late menopause or if a postmenopausal lady takes uh, hormonal pills even that's a risk factor history of pelvic inflammatory disease endometriosis so these are a few risk factors depending upon the stage of the disease and the type of cancer it is a surgery and at times these patients they need chemotherapy also depending upon the stage of the disease and the type of cancer if the lady is young we can very well do in the early stages of cancer we can very well do uh, fertility preservation surgery wherein these ladies can conceive and once they have completed the family they can uh, come for the completion search whenever there is a preliminary diagnosis of ovarian cancer or there is a suspicion of ovarian cancer it's a good idea to go to a higher center which has good radiology facilities good pathology facilities and uh, a gynecologist oncologist should be available there along with the medical oncologist and uh, once uh, you know we form the diagnosis it's very important to form the correct diagnosis then we need to know the extent of disease for which we may ask for some radiological inputs at times during the surgery this lady may require a frozen section also so going to our higher center seeking their opinion is important and for the final diagnosis at times the immunohistochemistry is also required molecular testing is required for all this it's important if the patient comes to the right place and get the surgery done by the oncologist i mean the gynec oncologist and uh, if they need uh, further chemotherapy they will be visiting the medical oncologist